Okay, guys, here's one more series. Uh, just kind of riffing tonight, thinking, uh, working through some different uh, uh, Carenza shadow boxing patterns and, and, and uh, applications, right? Now, this one's a little bit more combative, if you will, or, or maybe that's not the right word, but um, thinking about this too as more of an impact weapon and the range, changing some ranges here. Um, so, if I'm, I like to start off with just an angle one, right? So, that would be maybe hitting into their hand. Now, when I do my angle two, I'm going to step, okay? Because I'm, what I'm envisioning is I'm, at, I'm envisioning uh, stopping their, their return strike or smashing into that hand, then being close enough to grab the head. Now, I've got a puño strike here like this. Boom. Then I'm rolling the head and then getting another puño strike here. I got a little excited and I already got off camera. So, I'm going to go one, two, grab, three, roll, boom. Here like this, right? One, two, grab, hit, roll, and hit. One, two, three, and four. Here like this, right? Okay, guys. Uh, I thought I'd throw in a prop here, just so you can kind of visualize this a little bit more. I don't have a training partner to, to show you this, but just to kind of give you the idea, right, of that of what we're working on here in solo training. So again, my angle one, if he had arms and a stick or a weapon of some kind, could be smashing into that to his arm, right? Or it could be hitting to the head, okay? So this could all be, again, very, you know, variations, right? Different targets. But let's assume that they have a weapon, that we're taking out that weapon. Now, at, let's say either A, they kept the weapon, right? Or, um, uh, or not, we, we hit it. So I could either be coming in with the backhand slash to the head, now I'm grabbing, right? I want that elbow in like a good single collar. Now I've got my puño strike here, puño strike here. I pull and rotate. And then I've got, this is hard to manipulate here, but I pull and I've got the, the, the strike here like that. Sorry guys, it's pretty funny. Trying to, trying to work the bob dummy, trying to grapple with the bob dummy. So again, one, two, three, here like this. Oh, and then, I've got that backhand strike. One, two, three, and four. Okay, hopefully that gives you a little bit uh, better visualization. Okay guys, so now you've seen it on how to use this against an armless uh, uh, rubber torso. Uh, but <laughs> so you get the idea of the range, right? So again, back to it. One, two, grab, three, rotate, and then four. One, step, two, three, four, okay? Now again, now you can start to add more slashes, more hits, right? So you get the repetition, right? So I can go one, two, one, two, hit, and I'm in, okay? As I pull, so one of the things that when we're pulling here, we can continue to pull down and we can uppercut, right? It's a little added bonus, right? One, two, I grab, I go puño, I pull, uppercut, then I rotate here like this. Okay? So, boom, bang, bang. Now, last one, you gotta really use your imagination, is after I cut here like this, okay, or I grab the head, I expect that person to use their, what would be their left hand, let's assume their right hand is, is smashed, I just hit it with the stick. Um, because I'm in there grabbing and about to hit him with the puño, I imagine their left hand getting involved. So after I go one, two, and I grab three, the left hand grabs, okay? I got a couple options here. But one is I rotate my elbow down here like this because I'm breaking the grip. So I go elbow and then I can just go like that with the backhand slap. But a lot of times we go into a lock on the person uh, on their neck. Now it's getting a little crazy, I know. One, two, three, break here, and then I put them in to what we call a, a, a paper cutter, right? One, two, three, rotate my elbow over their wrist, break the grip, and now I've got them, okay? One, two, three. The other thing I can do is just try to grab and release and then get a hit. So this is getting kind of uh, funky, right? One, two, Oh, excuse me, I grab the head, I try to grab the outside of their arm, release, and go. 
But if you could see, again, this is way more interesting when you got a partner. Um, if you could see the grab and how we can break that grab by bringing our elbow over the top, breaking the grip, and now we're in a position to go into one of our locks. So if you haven't been there, if this is like, you know, if you're just picking this up, that might be hard for you to, to visualize. So just get the first part. One, two, grab, three, rotate, and four. Right? Have fun with that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.